We'll now model a closed HVAC system for the southwest office space on level 2. First, we'll measure the plenum space between the acoustic ceiling and the floor above, since that defines the height constraints for our system. From the east elevation view, let's turn off the visibility of the walls and windows to expose the ceiling and floors. With the Annotate Align tool, we can measure the clearance between the Level 2 ceiling and the floor above. The plenum takes up 3 feet of the entire 12-foot floor-to-floor height. Now we can add air handling units and air terminals at Level 2. Again, let's choose this 24-inch square supply diffuser, defining an offset of 9 feet from Level 2. In the Level 2 ceiling plan view, we'll place two supply diffusers close to the exterior west wall of the office space. Let's also place the return diffusers. To create maximal separation from the supply diffusers, we'll place the return diffusers on the other side of the office near the corridor and in that way maximize the air circulation effectiveness. Next, let's open the mechanical equipment tool in the Home tab and choose the size 3 8 inch VAV unit from the Type drop down menu. Enter an offset of 11 feet from level 2 and place the unit above the corridor space right outside the office it serves. Clicking the spacebar, we can rotate the unit until the large connector faces southward. Be careful not to overlap the trough or lighting fixtures. Now let's connect these supply terminals to the air handling unit with ductwork. Since the closed plenum space itself serves as the channel to return back to the air handler, the return terminals won't need to be connected with ductwork. Select both of the supply terminals in the view. The Modify Terminals tab appears and we can choose to create a new supply system for these terminals. And the Supply Systems tab appears with options for editing the system. First choose Select Equipment and click on the Air Handling Unit. Now open the Generate Layout tool. We will keep the Network option, but let's open Settings to define the types and offsets for the main and branch of this ductwork. Since this is a closed system and covered by the ceiling, we can use the lower cost rectangular duct. So we'll choose rectangular duct with mitered elbows and tees for the main with an offset of 11 feet. And we'll choose the same for the branch, also at an 11 foot offset. And we'll choose none for the flex duct. Cycle through the available solutions and we can see that this third solution is the best. Click Finish Layout. And here's the complete fitted and joined duct system. From the 3D HVAC view, we can better view how the geometry was modeled. Using the shortcut VG, we enter visibility graphics and turn off the linked model. And here we see our supply system with a blue color display filter to distinguish it from the pink return systems. Let's zoom into the region to see the ductwork as it was modeled, along with the return diffusers floating freely at the ceiling elevation.